I just had the fucking strangest dream. We all have, don't we? Dreams on my fucking mantle. I've been um, playing Dreams by Media Molecule. Came out on Valentine's Day or something like that. And I thought, like, I'll keep a dream diary. I'm going to go down the rabbit hole, find the weirdest dreams, and just thought I'd share them with you. Thought it'd be a nice little break up from, like, the big podcast that we do. Uh, just me kind of talking you through some of the best and worst things I've seen on Dreams. Because it is, like... A great platform to make games but it's also you know can hide some pretty bad things but it'd be a bit of a laugh i thought so i'm gonna do a bit of voiceover now and just talk you through some of my findings we've got all sorts coming up like pt remakes in there I've got some spider-man i've got some pictures of like a dinner that someone's made and stuff like that um but yeah just uh thought i'd share it with you and see what you think oh so here we are in the voiceover dream diary so I'm going to talk you through all the games I played on the first time I played Dreams. Uh, the first thing I wanted to just quickly show you, uh, because this hasn't been made by the community, uh, is Art Dreams. So that was made by the Media Molecule developers themselves, the, the people who made the game. Okay, So this is a bit of a sizzle reel. It kind of just shows off all the different stuff you can do inside the game. Just showing off all the sorts of things you can do. And it ties it all together with this story about a, a, a jazz musician. You play as like a fox, a bear, like a robot, all sorts of different things. Um, so that's pretty cool, but that's kind of what you expect from the people who made the tools themselves, right? You expect that. So what about when we leave it to, yeah, just regular people, creatives out there from all over the world, probably alone in their room, uh, doing games by themselves. Let's have a look. All right, so this is Pip Gem Cutter. It's like, I think it's the highest rated game not made by Media Molecule. It's like a gigantic ripoff of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. But, I don't know, maybe you haven't got a Nintendo and don't care to own one, so you wouldn't know. Like, you basically play as a sloth, you go around, you find these X's on the wall and you press square on them. And it gives you a gem. You get two gems, you can jump into the gem. Boom. That's it. And then the next, so like, that's this pretty much the whole game. Uh, Ruckus, this is a good one. This is like, probably the best one i played, actually. You play as this like, fat, aggressive blob. So very relatable, clearly. It's cool, you just go around destroying the, the city, like Rampage, and there's different camera angles from like, the police helicopters and stuff. It's really cool, you can like, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. This is Yoshi's Island demo, right? Doesn't matter if I'm very good at it, don't, you know, don't, don't watch that. So somebody has like, made Yoshi, that's cool. Like, what do you do? You jump, land on a platform, that's it. That's the whole game. So it's like, cool. It's a really cool look looking Yoshi, that, isn't it? But that's it, look, I'm, I'm up here now. That's my time with this game over, it's done. This is what I'm talking about. That was good for 15 seconds. And then before you know it, like I fell down a rabbit hole. Like there's like stuff like this, Mario. It looks good on the surface, but I don't know. You just can't get on with it. This one is particularly good. It's like just a very vacant city with uh, the flash. You can jump, put his mask on and off. Oh, you can like be the flat. I fell off there, but you can be the flash and like, it's all set to like Lil Nas X Old Town Road. It's made by this guy, he's ace. This is his best design, right? It's like the Haunting of Hill House, the Bent Neck Lady. Like, it's all set to like the Family Guy theme song. So I guess that it's, it's more like a concept than a game, if you know what I mean. There's a lot of these, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, it's it's certainly something. But I heard that there there is some like, some good stuff, yeah. This is a good one, this is a really good one. It's the full game. I don't know how they've managed to get the audio so good, but like, it is the full experience really you know you'll see what i mean in a minute when you see uh lisa i'll kind of give you a warning i think it's just around this corner actually you first see her but my like my wife hasn't ever seen a real pt yeah so we were playing it and it was getting tense you know the atmosphere the atmosphere is not you know not quite the same but it's getting there look at that i see it like you look at me moving about i was actually worried at this point i was worried i was gonna get jump scared by that like cabbage patch kid version of lisa like, the atmosphere was really good, and, like, this is, like, a really perfect type of game to remake. Remake a small game, like, with an L-shaped corridor and, like, a weird one with one eye. Don't try and remake, like, Fallout 4, for example. Now, I know with a lot of this video, you're probably thinking, well, what did you expect? And maybe that is really it. Maybe that's my whole problem. Maybe I was expecting better, but 
you know, like, first of all, I spoke to Mr. Handy, like, at this point, I was sick of dreams, so I didn't care what I was saying to anybody, I just wanted to get through it. He fucking killed me straight away, so, I don't know, I don't know if that really happened in the original Fallout 4, but, but, yeah, you're just playing this, like, patch of brown dirt, there's no, like, um, as far as I know, there's no, like, proper quests and stuff like that. I completed the quest by speaking to Mr. Handy, so if that is a quest, what other sort of quality of, you know, I like this one a lot. This one is called Art Therapy and it's dead simple. You have a bat, you press square to like equip or unequip the bat, then you just have to go around trashing up other people's creations, which is kind of like what this video has been basically, hasn't it? But yeah, you just run around and there's security guards and like tourists and stuff. So yeah, this was a good one. This is a really cool one. Uh, Art Therapy, I like that one. This is the top of trending at the moment. Um, this is, it looks like Sonic 2, doesn't look like the real Sonic at all. Using his infamous Sonic Slash attack there to destroy this giant monster. So, pretty simple idea, but it's one of these where, like, does it have to be Sonic? It's probably worse that it is Sonic. Because I was just sitting here the whole time thinking, oh, well, so Sonic doesn't shoot things out of his arms. So, uh, I don't know, this one... I don't know about this one. If you've like looked on YouTube or whatever already at Dream stuff, you would have seen like this is really popular, like hyper realistic uh, food. I don't really know why. Like you can't play it or anything like that, but it's just like a a nice picture. There's some like basic interaction. Like you can see that there's labels here. Artisanal bun made me laugh out loud when I played it. But then like you play as the puppet, and that kind of gave it like a bit of like gamification. And at this point, right, I was playing as the puppet. And I thought, I'm going to try and get onto the artisanal bun. And trying and failing to jump onto the bun, it's the most that Dreams has ever made me feel like I'm 28 years old. What am I doing? Sort of thing. So, I guess art is supposed to make you think and stuff. And this is, like, kind of what I was thinking when I was playing it. Like, I got onto the bun and I wasn't feeling, like, satisfied or anything. I was just like, I hope these guys like the video. So, speaking of guys, like, the, the, the last two I'll show you, just I thought, right, what would Liam like? What would Liam be searching? So, I just... Look for some Japanese games. I found this. Um, I haven't actually played Nier Automata, so I don't know how uh, accurate this is to the full game. I don't know if this is a good representation or not. I guess it was like pretty fun. Like you went around collecting screws and stuff. The big reveal was like there was this thing the whole the whole time hiding, like some pixel art two B sort of thing. So hopefully, if Liam, you're seeing this, um, I did this for you. So our final stop uh, is this one, uh, of course. An extremely serious game with Glorious Warriors multiplayer and, and AI. An extremely serious strategy game. I thought, right, I'll do this and I'll show Mike in a bit. Uh, I still haven't showed him. So if he if he's watching this, Mike, if you're watching this, uh, have a little look at the sort of thing that you can look forward to if you're playing Dreams. So this is actually like uh, tabs, yeah, totally accurate battle simulator. Uh, you can summon like all sorts of things: dog, centaur, wizard. Infantry or bowman. There's also a button for like to, to summon a dragon later on, which I do. Uh, you can see it right here. And I mean, this one was pretty fun. I didn't see the multiplayer aspect of it. Um, I don't know if that was like if it was couch co-op or if it's like online multiplayer. I like the ragdoll physics. It made me laugh. Yeah, I quite liked it. So I hope hopefully yeah that was a little look at all the different types of games in Dreams. This is my my first time being a Dream. Uh, I can't remember what the word is. Dream, a Dream Surfer. So I'll do a little outro now, but if you want, if you want to, uh, if you want to find any of these out for yourself, let me know in the comments, and I can I can let you know what they're called. Or yeah, if you've got any recommendations, do it. Just like a dream, it's one of those things that you have to be there to see. There's no point. You go out and talk about what you've just seen out to people. No one's gonna care. You have to have lived that. But I'm glad that you did. Thanks very much for sitting through this, and maybe if you like it, we can do some more dream dream diving. Uh, dream hunting. I don't know. We can just go and look at some dreams. Uh, but yeah, if you if you didn't like this, don't worry. We've got another podcast on the way soon. So thanks very much for, for watching, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.